All right, lesson 14. We are dealing with a new time signature today. Time signature is the numbers that are stacked on top of each other in the beginning of the piece. So what we've known so far is 4-4. Four, four. That means there's four beats in a measure and a quarter note gets counted as one beat. The four on top tells us how many beats per measure. The four on bottom tells us that a quarter note gets counted as one beat or pulse or one feel of rhythm or time, whatever, one beat. So this new one we're learning today in lesson 14 on page 40 in the Alfred's Basic Adult Piano Course, level one, all in one book, is 3-4 time. And you'll hear that referred to as 3-4 time or a song in three or waltz time. If you know the waltz step, uh, the man's pattern for the waltz step is one, um, so they're starting here, left foot, right foot. It's forward, side, together, back, side, together, forward, side, together, back, side, together. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's your waltz. It's just a very nice waltz basic time. So that's what 3-4 is. It means there's three beats per measure and a quarter note gets counted as one beat. So the three on top, four on bottom. Now the new thing we have to learn on top of that is a note that's three beats long. So there is a musical tool called a dot <laughs> and it's added to the end of a note and what that does is, is it, it increases the length or the value of that note by one half of its value so if you are a math person I am I like to think of we're gonna make X any note, I'm going to make this so you can see it, X is any note, so any dotted note is X plus one half X. So to make that make sense out of a dotted half note, a dotted, well, a half note is two, ble two beats plus one half of two beats. Well, that's one. So a half note is two beats long. A dotted half note is three beats long. And it takes up a whole measure of three, four time because it's only three beats per measure. That's why you can't use a whole note because a whole note is four beats long and it would take up more than the measure and you can't do that. So that's the new thing we're learning. Where do we see that? Left hand measure three. That's a dotted half note for each note. And you'll notice there's three dots accompanying the three notes in the left hand. Look at the very next measure though. It's only half notes and there's a rest on beat three. So beats one and two are the half notes. Beat three is rest. Looking at the next line, the dotted half notes in measure four, five, seven, and measure eight, there's dotted half notes. So the rest from the first line is no longer there and it's dotted half notes instead of half notes. No repeat sign. So pause it and practice. There's one thing I want to see if you catch that I will tell you about after I play the song. So pause it. Hopefully you paused and practiced and I will play it now. It says moderately fast.
So what did I do? I played the first line forte both hands because it's written in the middle of the two stabs. The second line I played piano soft and it's written in between. So this is now a new dynamic marking that we haven't experienced yet is both hands changing in the middle of a song. So the first line's loud, second line is soft. really important you rest on this and I'm going to say shh on that rest just this one time so you can see where it is and I'm going to count it off this time so if you want to play along you can but instead of saying one two three four and then we start since there's three beats per measure you say one two three then you're playing because there's three beats per measure but if you want to practice this slowly which is very good to do I'll do one slow now so you can practice uh, one two, three. Three. I didn't change dynamics, that way you can hear yourself practicing with it, but um, play one more now and count it off. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, um, one, two, three. That is three, four time. All right, so page 41. In the box above each note, write the number of counts it receives. So you should pause this and fill that in. All right, uh, starting at the left, it's C, E, G, oh wait, no. <laughs> Write the number of counts it receives. All right, starting on the left with the C, it's one, 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 two, two, one, three. All right. Uh, under each line, write the one note equal in value to the sum of the two notes above it. Okay, so. Pause it and uh, fill out this line in the middle of page 41. You have to write the note values, not the number of beats. So you would write whatever note. See, like the first one, it's a quarter note and a quarter note. Well, a quarter note's one beat, so one beat plus one beat equals two beats. What note equals two beats? A half note, so they drew a half note. So pause it and fill out the rest of that line. All right. This first one is, well, the first one's given to us, it's half note. The next one is a whole note. The next one is a whole note. The next one is a dotted half note. The next one is a whole note. The next one is a dotted half note. We're going to review our dynamics now. Forte is loud. Mezzo forte is moderately loud. Piano is soft. So write the correct time signature at the beginning of the following stabs. I will give you a hint. This line, this top line with the repeat sign here, is different than this bottom song with the repeat sign here. So you have to write the correct time signature for each of these two songs. And look at the other time signatures, right? It's written in the treble clef and the bass clef the treble clef and the bass clef. So you'll write the time signatures here, and then you'll have to write the chord changes above the chords. And notice the change in dynamics and the repeat signs. So go ahead and pause it and fill all that out and practice this song. And I will give you all the answers when we resume. Alright, this first one. Forte, right hand, it is in, three, four, time. That is a dotted half note, dotted half note, dotted half note. That tells me there's going to be three beats in each of these measures. That means we are in three, four, time. So, I would write three, four, three, four, because you have to write the bass clef too, even though it's not playing. And then this is a C, G7, C, G7, C, G7, C, tie, repeat. But notice the changes 
in dynamics. So that song, moderately slow, we're going to say one, two, three. Next one down, well that's a half note and that's a half note, so that adds up to four. And that's a whole note and that adds up to four, so this bottom song has to be in four, four time. One, two, three, four, yep, four beats in each measure. Starts out piano, mezzo forte, forte, mezzo forte, piano, repeat sign, all right. Hopefully you've well, let's pause it and fill all this one out, unless you already did that, so now we're ready to go. Alright, so I will play this one now, and it's going to give a four count before starting. One, two, three, four. Wait, I didn't give you the answers yet. C, G7, oh, C, G7, C, G7, C, G7, C. Alright, piano, mezzo forte, forte, mezzo forte, piano, repeat. One, two, three, four. So practicing these with the dynamic changes are going to build up your uh, control and your um, difference between loud and soft. You want to have the contrast. So keep practicing. If you have any questions, let me know. That's 3-4 time or waltz time. and You can just think uh, left, right, together, left, right, together, but that wasn't left, right, but it's Forward side together, back side together, forward side together, back side together. That's the waltz pattern. All right, thank you all very much. Talk to you all next time. Here's page 40. You can see our beautiful artwork. Dotted notes equal the note value plus half that value again. So a dotted half note is two beats, a half note is two beats, a dotted half note is two beats plus half of two beats, which is one. Two plus one is three. Three, four time practice. And uh, that's that.